Hey, what's up, YouTube? Now, there have been a ton of new tweaks released this week, so in this quick video, we're gonna go over some of my favorite tweaks that are entirely free. So like always, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you wanna see more content just like this, and of course, check out our Best Tech Info website for more information. Now, like I said, there have been a ton of tweaks released this week, so in this video in particular, we're just gonna be taking a look at a few of them, but I will be doing a few videos throughout this week to stay on top of things. Now, in this video in particular, we have some nice quality of life tweaks that I wanted to talk about. So first up, we have Move Cydia Up. And this basically just moves the navigation bar within Cydia above the home bar on the iPhone 10. So for those of you that like keeping the home bar on there or have, say, Chroma home bar installed, you now can use Cydia more naturally and it doesn't look really weird. So next up is drag to delete messages. This one's a quick one. All you have to do to delete a message thread now is just simply swipe to the left and it is gone. So again, just another example real quickly, just normally you would have to swipe over and then click delete. Now you can do it all in one fell swoop. No banner name hides the banner and or widget name next to the icon. So if I go over to my widgets page, right here we have the weather widget. And in the top left, we have the weather icon. Now normally it would say weather right there, but that is now hidden. I just like it because it looks more simplistic. I also have widget extend installed right here, which I talked about in previous videos to always extend widgets by default. All right, getting into two of my top favorites that are kind of brand new and actually add some features, but I really like. First up, we have Adiago, which is an app switcher alternative. Now, this one looks really sweet. It has a nice iOS 11 theme going on, and it really reminds me of what the iOS 6 app switcher looked like, but it is now vertical instead of being on the bottom. In any case, it can be activated by swiping in from the top left, middle left of the screen, or bottom left. So you can still use the app switcher natively within iOS along with this one. I just really like the look of it. Again, kind of is reminiscent of old iOS. And very lastly, and my favorite for today, is SirDock. Now this evolutionizes the dock's experience on any device you're running on the iPhone 10, on the iPhone 8, or any other previous device that's running the iOS 11 jailbreak. So the way I have mine set up right now is just an infinite scrolling loop of these five apps. But again, you can add as many apps as you want to the dock. This is about the only tweak I'm going to go ahead and go into the settings app for to better explain what this tweak does and how it's set up. Basically, you can select which applications you want enabled to be on your dock. And once you have those set right there, then you can go into the carousel settings and you have a bunch of options to choose from. Now here at the top, there's a quick preview. So any actions you make in real time will be updated at the top so you can figure out what you like. Now at the very end, you can just do a quick respring and that action will be applied to your dock. Again, there's so many different options to choose from here to make your dock exactly how you want it. Anyway, that's today's top five free tweaks video that are again, pretty much brand new. Thank you so much for watching today's video and let me know down below which tweak was your favorite and or if there's any ones that I missed that you would like me to cover on future videos. But until next time guys, this is Tony signing out.